that led in so perfectly, of course, to what I wanted to talk about, and I felt huge waves of relief coming over me as you were talking to him and the woman before. Um, I have been feeling inappropriate about my financial situation, and it's, I just want to soothe it because I know that it's okay. I know that it's okay, and I'm in the vortex a lot, and when I'm not, it is... Excruciating. Yes. <laughs> It really is. So get in there. Well, (laughs) I know that I'm supposed to be abundant. I know that. And I have been so hugely abundant in this life. And I do live a magnificent life. But but I lost millions of dollars. And I feel so inappropriate when I look at my bank account. And I I want to feel better anyway. Well, when... All right, so... So we're going to sort of build a basis here. Okay. And every bit of this is going to be soothing in nature to you. And you're going to come out of this conversation with a newfound realization. Okay. And it started early on in this gathering as we were talking about lawsuits and the movie that is being made and how the, the real reward is alignment. So... If for a little while, and it never is very pleasing to someone who wants to have a conversation about money or finances, to talk about what the, the, the real rewards are, are alignment, right. but the real <laughs> rewards are alignment. And, and, and the money and all of that stuff that is also a reward of, of sorts yeah. doesn't matter and can't really come in the way that you mean it and the way that you want it without alignment. So the subject that we really want to talk about is alignment. Yes. But before we bore you with all of that, <laughs> because we talk about that all day, every day, we want to talk about how what's bothering you the most is that you've been looking at your life in a sort of, and not just you, but almost everyone, and you're sort of a spokesperson that helps a lot of people figure this out because, you, you, because you've been living big. Yeah. So a lot of people see this life in a sort of linear way where there are rungs along the ladder that you are to achieve. And once you achieve them, then slip is disgraceful in some way. Yes. And what we're wanting you to hear from us is that in that sorting and sifting, and only in that sorting and sifting, do you put the really good stuff in the vibrational escrow. And the people who have lost the most and temporarily or momentarily suffered the most are those who put the most clarity into the vibrational escrow. We know you've heard us say recently, and we're going to say it again here, that this big financial brouhaha that's happening all around the planet (laughs) has put more into the vibrational escrow of mass consciousness and has served you better than hundreds of financial years of interacting with one another. In other words, it's huge. And it was way, 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 way worth it. And once you have all moved forward into the better time, you will look back on that, any of you that understand the law-based nature of all things, and you will not regret these hard times, but you will bless them for the clarifying nature and the powerful asking that ensued as a result of them. Mm -hmm. So now we also know that you knew all of that, but we just wanted to (laughs) amplify that for you a little bit. For these folks, right? For anyone who doesn't know that, (laughs) now you do. So since your life isn't this linear climb the rungs of a ladder, and since there is no slipping back, this is the thing that we want you to hear. As you feel embarrassment about financial slipping back, we're over here standing in the middle of your magnificent vortex, feeling utter appreciation for what you've put here. And you say, oh, well, I can't even see what I've put there. I'm so busy being embarrassed about what's not in my bank account. And if you could get yourself fixated on the escrow, the vibrational escrow, it's like, and you've heard these stories, but they so apply here. The man who had an empire, who lost it all, who said, I'm too old to start over. It took me all these years to get here. Well, first of all, it didn't take him all those years to get here, but that was his warped perspective of it. But he didn't lose his vibrational empire. He only lost his physical money temporarily thing. And it's this vibration escrow that matters this is the legacy that you've provided for yourself this is the inheritance that you've put there for yourself this is the irrefutable nest egg that you've put 
there that is immune to the Bernie Madoffs of the world and Mm -hmm. immune to the bank collapses of the Mm -hmm. world. In other words, this is a vibrational vortex that you can take to the bank, really. So... So you've just got to find a way of feeling so proud about this that you can't be embarrassed about that. Mm -hmm. You see what we're getting at? How do I do that? By focusing on this instead of on that. By, by, By speaking of your knowledge of the laws by feeling appreciation yeah. of knowing how it works by by reminding yourself that you were willing to come forth and sift through the contrast by acknowledging the benefit of the contrast and what it caused you to ask for by reminding yourself of your knowledge of the laws of the universe by reminding yourself of your knowledge that your inner being stands there and is calling you toward it by acknowledging that it must be there because nothing less than that feels right to you by acknowledging that the first time you heard about downstream or vortex that it resonated with the very depths of your being that you knew the truth of it by acknowledging that you can't focus on two things at once you can't focus upon your the prosperity of your vortex and the absence of abundance in your bank account at the same time you got a choice and so by acknowledging that you want to use the power of your mind to affect your feeling and this is the thing that we're wanting to emphasize all day every day and really really we want to here and now of course as you stand with not enough money in a bank account. And so, so here we stand in your vortex, surrounded by all you've put there, thinking, <laughs> was this ever a tremendous amount of good work done early on in someone's life? We stand here in amazement and awe of what you've put here, in the bigness of the life you've lived and what you've put here. And so we see you standing over there with not enough money, But you not having enough money doesn't affect the way we feel about this because we're standing in the middle of all of this. You see, when you're in the vortex, you bless anything that put it there. When you're out of the vortex, you curse anything that put it there. Yes. You can't, you can't feel the appreciation of what you've put there unless you're in the vibrational proximity of it, you see. So, so now that brings us around to really the theme of this entire gathering here today, which is mind control. It's about pro- projecting the thought that gives you the relief. What, there is never any technique or process or conversation that we give you that is to try to affect your bank balance. Right. We never, ever, ever offer anything to try to affect your bank balance. It's your vibrational relationship balance that we are all... Because we know that if you can acknowledge the existence of that... And you can direct thought and find relief and feel ease. We know that the other has to come into alignment. But we don't do it for the ulterior motive of getting that into alignment. We do it because this is all that matters. This is what has you upset. Now, you don't know that. It's like someone being sad because someone dies. And they would say to us, they sometimes shouted at us, I'm sad because that person died. And we say, no, you're not. And they say, I'm sad because that person died. My life is a mess. I'm upside down because the love of my life died. And we say, no, you're not. This goes on for a while. (laughs) And then we explain. The way they feel is not about the absence of that person. It's not about that person dying and it's not about not enough money. The reason it feels like that is because there's a difference of an opinion between you and you. In other words, it's the, you're missing your alignment. That's what you're missing, you see. So you're not embarrassed. You're missing your connection. You're not angry. You're missing your connection. And, and you can't do anything about the money now, not now, right? but you can do something about the connection now, Mm -hmm. right now. You can do something about the connection right now. So where does that leave you? I can do something about the connection right now. I can change the way I feel right now. I can feel better now, no matter what. I can feel better now, no matter what. I can feel better now, no matter what. I, can, I do feel better now. I feel, I feel better now. 
We don't have any other words that we can tell you other than that you're right on track. Nothing's gone wrong. Your escrow is brilliant. You know what to do. Mm -hmm. You direct your thoughts mostly. Mostly you're in the vortex. You don't spend a lot of time outside of it, but you are a precise and picky person, just like you intended to be. In other words, you're sifting and deciding and sifting and deciding and your vortex is moving fast. So you get in, but then life causes you to throw more out there and it moves on and you get in 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 and it moves on. And many of you are saying, damn it, hold the damn thing still. <laughs> hold it still. Don't I get a break? Can I get in? Can I get in and enjoy it for a minute? Does it have to move on? And we say, it's your asking. You're the right. ones that keep getting it to move on. And when you break loose of this feeling of embarrassment yes. and you start enjoying the moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, how mm. many people do you know? You know a lot of people who, even though by earth standards and by earning standards and by asset yes. standards, they should love long ago have stopped trying to get more but they were never trying to get more money they just can't not move on you can't squelch good ideas when you're a good idea getter you can't squelch good ideas when you're in the vortex often you can't hold back from who you are you see and you didn't come forth to create financial import empires you came forth to create vibrational empires you came forth to get it rolling and to line up and to get it rolling and to line up and to get it rolling and to line up and you know from those that you've interacted with personally that there are often those they don't live on their own money they live on borrowed money they, and and they don't have little debt they have huge debt and in the huge debt they could have huge risk that could take them out of the vortex or they could have huge probability which takes them into the vortex you've been listening too much to the economic tides of of the world around you recently in other words there's you're sensitive to vibration and there's so many people looking to explain their misfortune by pushing against other things and we don't feel you pushing against others but you're pushing hard against yourself and there's no reason to do that you're doing so well <laughs> thank you thank you so much On the aisle, stand if you think it's you. Further back, yes.